Today's project starts with a pool noodle. Now the hardest thing we're gonna have to do on this is to get these two ends to come together. But it's not that hard and we're gonna take a piece of duct tape and use that to hold it in place. Once we got our three rings together, we're gonna stack them up. Now you can go with four. I went with three because that was the perfect height I needed. Once I get that, I'm gonna cut some more pool noodles and they're gonna stack inside. We need them to be level with the top. Once we get the perfect height, Use that template noodle that you cut and use it to cut the other ones. Use a serrated knife, it cuts so easy, it's just like cutting butter. And we're gonna start stacking them inside the pool noodles. Start on the outside and work your way to the end. I went ahead and went all the way around the edges and keep putting them in. Once you get all of the pool noodles in, they're gonna get a little tight, but that's okay, just shove them in there. That is what's gonna hold them in place. So when you get to the final ones, just go ahead and cram them down there. It's not gonna deform the pool noodles or anything like that. Once you get that final one in, then we need to go back, make sure it's level on the top, and then we're gonna go back to the same duct tape, and we're gonna use that to cover up now you're going to start on one end and go ahead and slice your tape and put it on the bottom. You can wrap the tape around the bottom just a little bit. Go across the three pull noodles, across the top, down the bottom. This one I'm going to cut just a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the bottom. We're actually going to need to cover the whole thing in duct tape because we're going to need to apply some hot glue to it. So get it all covered up and then right in the middle, I'm gonna put a first dab of hot glue. I'm gonna take this rope right here, this cotton rope, and go ahead and put it on there. I'm gonna start working it around in a circle. And it doesn't take much, just a little bit of hot glue, but the slow part is right in the beginning. Right when you're starting to put this together, it seems like it's taking some time, but it's gonna get faster as you go. You can put more hot glue down at a time and just keep wrapping it. It's actually not that hard and that hot glue sets up really nice. Now I was actually able to make this whole thing with just two packages of rope. And I got this from the local hardware store. So just keep going. Once we do this top, we're gonna work it around the sides and just keep going. If you have a seam where the two ropes begin, don't worry about it. As you can see, I went ahead and put the ottoman down and it actually turned out really nice. It's super strong and it's the perfect height. Again, you can go with four layers if you want. I hope this inspired you to build your own pool noodle ottoman. Hi everybody, today's project we're gonna start with a bench that I made out of three equal sides. First thing I did was cut three equal boards of 16 by 16 inch square. Once I got these boards cut, I went ahead and chose one to be my top and pre-drilled it in four locations along two sides in order to put screws through so I don't split the wood. Once I was able to build the box, I went ahead and cut some fabric that will go on the underside of the box. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stool that we made that has three sides and turn it upside down. This is gonna be the bottom right here. And don't worry if the sides don't look like they're straight after you screw it in. We will take care of that with a fourth piece of wood that will be our brace. Next, we take our pre-cut fabric and place it over the stool. Remember, this is the underside. So we're gonna get all the wrinkles out, tuck it up in there, and grab your stapler and go ahead and staple all up against the edge. This board is three quarters of an inch thick, so I'm using half inch staples and it's gonna work perfect. Nothing is gonna stick out. They won't poke through the other end. What you're gonna do now is staple all around the edges, getting all the slack out. Once you do that, take a pair of scissors, cut off the excess all the way around. Then we're gonna take a fourth piece of wood, cover it in the same fabric. This is a scrap board that I had, and it's gonna give this stool an extra piece of strength. Go ahead and screw it in from the sides and in the top. I did three screws across the top and made it extra strong. Now it's time to take the same fabric that we had and lay it across the front. Hang with me, I'll show you exactly what we're doing. You wanna put it all the way across the front and down the sides, take your stapler and do like we've done before. Staple all up and down the sides. Put a lot in these because there's gonna be some tension on it. Again, using half inch staplers. Now you're gonna take the pool noodle, lay it across, cut it to size, lay the fabric over. Pull the fabric tight around the pool noodle, no need to adhere it with glue or anything, and start stapling. The tighter the fabric, the better. All along the pool noodle. Look at how sharp those lines are, and staple all up and down. Once you get that first noodle in, 
pull the fabric back over and expose the wood. Now it's time for the second pull noodle. Make sure all of the wrinkles and everything are pulled out of the fabric. Put that second pull noodle down and you're gonna repeat the process. Throw the fabric back over and staple again. You should get about five to seven rows. And once we get that done, we'll show you the final project. And here it is, the final stool. It looks amazing and it's actually very comfortable. My son just loves it. It sits in his room and he can enjoy reading on it. Hello, my name is Gianna Klein, aka The Archie from Tandu.co, and welcome to Home Talk. Go to your local dollar store and pick up a solar light, pool noodle, broom handle, and two wooden signs. We are going to start this craft off by removing any stickers from your pool noodle. After the sticker is removed, bend the pool noodle to straighten it slightly. For the broom pull, you can take off the top or leave it on. The top will just secure it better, but it does leave less space inside. Take the pull and put it into the pool noodle. Leave the screw end pushed out slightly. These wooden signs can be used on either side, so keep in mind what direction you want these to point. Take off any stickers from the signs. Since I don't need this string, I'm going to cut it off. You can also get these blade tools over at your local dollar store. Measure the arrows. Get the length for where you would like to put down text. And also make sure to get the width as well for both of them. After you have measurements for both arrows, turn on your vinyl cutter. You could also paint text onto these arrows if you do not have a vinyl cutting machine or don't want to go and put vinyl letters on. After the vinyl is cut, weed it, prep it, and then get it ready for transfer. Remove the transfer tape and make sure the wooden surface is clean before you put down any vinyl. Press the vinyl down and peel the transfer tape on both arrows. No matter if you choose to paint or use vinyl, make sure to seal the wood on both sides to prevent weathering. Use black spray paint on the pool noodle. You may have to go over it a few times and definitely make sure to do this outside in a well-ventilated area. Wait for the pool noodle to fully dry and apply glue to the light bottom. Put the light into the top of the pool noodle and make sure it sits well in place. You want to hold it for a couple seconds as well. For a ground light, if you're going to use one, glue a wooden arrow onto the bottom of the light. Hold it, and then tape it in place so it dries and sticks well. After the glue on your pool noodle is dry, take your wooden arrow and loop it backwards. Twist it around clockwise so the text is facing forward. Dig a hole outside and push the broomstick screw end into the ground. You can also actually screw this in place as well too to keep it in place better. Place any other lights that you have around the pole. Step back and look at your work. This light will help to point out this pesky step during both daytime and also nighttime. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!